To discuss, I'm now joined by a Republican Arizona Senate candidate, uh, Jim Lamone. Jim, thank you very much for joining us. So you just heard us going through some of those numbers there. It's really uh, unbelievable and deadly, de potentially deadly for Americans. Yeah, they're absolutely. Uh, first, I just want to say a great uh, welcome to, to you and the great uh, team at Newsmax from Sun City West out here in Arizona. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And hi to everyone behind you, too. We are uh, another five stops uh, a day across this beautiful state uh, getting out our vote. And one of the biggest uh, things I hear and the biggest issue uh, is our open southern border. You know, 52,000 a week coming through. And Heather, those numbers of the meth, amphetamines, the fentanyl, uh, per Brandon Judd, the border guys that are very active on the campaign trail uh, with me as they've endorsed, uh, is that 2,600 Americans are dying every week from these drug overdoses. You know, Heather, that's almost 9-11 every week. And we have got to get serious about this. You know, this intentionality of opening the southern border when we had it under control has to be reversed. And I will do everything I can possibly do in my senatorial power mm -hmm. to stop business and the Senate floor until we stop this. It's, it's an invasion of our country, the fentanyl, the crime rates. You know, Heather, we've got to get our sovereignty back, got to get our security back by having someone like myself that will stand mm -hmm. up the U.S. and U.S. Senate floor and call it for what it is. What are, what's one of the things that you would do? Number one thing that the border guys tell me, and again, I was a builder of big businesses, billion dollar businesses, CEO that I sold last year in order to do this full time. I listen as a CEO to the experts, and that's Brandon Judd and the Border Patrol guys. They said, Jim, we don't need another agent. We don't need more trucks. We don't need more drones. We need policy and someone with the guts in the U.S. Senate to stand up for it. And that is, had the remain in Mexico policy. Mm -hmm. There was an executive order under Trump. Of course, the uh, Biden rescinded it. Supreme Court agreed with him. We have to get that codified into law and do everything I can do on the Senate floor to make that the number one priority. When that occurs, then they can turn everyone back that's coming through that border and enforce it. Then their case is adjudicated across the border. Mm -hmm. Finish the border wall, of course, uh, behind that. And then also mandatory E-Verify as we did uh, in my company. Yeah. In, in the meantime, you know, you talk about things that, that concern Americans, this crushing economy. Americans are getting sidelined for job opportunities, weighed down by mass immigration. And that's according to a study by the Federation for American Immigration Reform, which looked at job figures from September 2020 to March 2022. And it writes that there are approximately 11.5 million job openings in the U.S. right now and 14.73 million employable Americans. This means that there are 3.23 million more workers in the country than open jobs. Of course, the influx of illegal immigration doesn't help this because it takes up even more jobs. Heather, there's a, all of the above solution needed mm -hmm. uh, in this country. We've gotten way too far away from the fact that the federal government was paying people, of course, uh, to stay home. The open border side, mm -hmm. you know, we have over 300,000 uh, Communist Chinese Party visas a year in this country that are supposedly for big techs used for the engineers that we don't have. We have those engineers because I was hiring them in my company and we probably had four applicants for each job. You know, politicians in D.C. have been lying to us for a while. That's why Arizona now has me in the lead in this race It's as a business guy and a veteran, not as a politician, because the old solutions and the old people going there that have the same old rhetoric uh, is over. You know, I'm not taking a single pack dollar, lobbyist dollar to be pure for the American people and get things done this time. Yeah. Wait, repeat what you just said about how many uh, from China? Exactly. Repeat that. And they're called a people's for China, but we all know who controls that country. Mm -hmm. 86 million, Communist Chinese Party controlling 1.3 billion. That's who gets those visas because that's determined. Everything there is determined by the Communist Chinese Party. Those are in our country supposedly as engineers, you know, working in our companies. But of course, we know what they are doing. They are the enemy of this country, and we must treat them accordingly, as we did the Soviet Union while I served in the military. We took care of business. We've got to get them out of this country, get our manufacturing back, get our mining going, get our energy back, get yeah. water moving to the... We've got to do big things again and stop, number one, though, 
is closing the southern border. Yeah, and, and quit letting them buy up our farmland and things nope. like that. That's also that's a whole nother issue. Uh, yep. We don't have time to get into that because I want to get into tomorrow's debate that, as you mentioned, you will be a part of. Uh, Newsmax is hosting the Arizona Republican Senate primary debate in Phoenix tomorrow night. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And the debate participants include you, Blake Masters, Mick McGuire. Uh, the border, sure to be a major topic tomorrow, maybe even the number one issue. But what will you do in the Senate to address other crises? What else do you, do you plan to address in the debate? Heather, we are looking forward uh, to John coming out. We're going to have a great uh, debate tomorrow night. I think uh, your viewers want to tune in. It's going to be robust. Yeah. Because Arizona holds the key to flipping the U.S. Senate in order to stop this far-left agenda that's ongoing. The issues in Arizona, number one, is the southern border. Mm -hmm. Number two is crime. And, again, I'm endorsed by the Border Patrol and the law enforcement. And they're going to be there tomorrow night to express their support of Lehman. They want a fighter this time. Number three is inflation. I'm the only business guy in this race ever employed any one of built companies with thousands of, of employees. Those are going to be top of the list. There's many other great ones that I'm sure John is going to be able to get to the bottom of and look forward to a robust debate because people in Arizona have us in the lead for a reason, Heather. Yeah. They don't want the same lawyers and politicians anymore. Well, I love how you put that. It's going to be robust. <laughs> <laughs> All cool. right, cool. Jim. Cool to deliver. Well, tell everybody behind you hello from all of us here in New York. They look great. Hi, everybody. Can they hear me? There, there you go. <laughs> All right. And tune into the debate um, tomorrow night.